Installing the Kohler Worth Pull-Down Kitchen Sink Faucet For the installation, you will need the following tools. 3 8 inch supply stop, adjustable wrench, Phillips screwdriver, bucket. This faucet contains back siphonage protection. To prevent water contamination, do not remove any internal components from this faucet. To ease installation to a drop-in sink, assemble the faucet to the sink before installing the sink. Install the faucet with the handle on the right side. For additional support, some stainless steel sinks may require a piece of one half inch plywood be installed under the sink holes. Cut a hole in the plywood to match the hole for the faucet. The provided escutcheon is optional and can be installed to cover unused sink holes. To install the escutcheon, align the plate with the sink holes, then position the escutcheon over the plate. Slide the gasket onto the shank with the foam side facing down. Align the tabs on the gasket with the notches in the base of the faucet. Press the gasket into place. For single hole sink installations only, slide the escutcheon ring onto the shaft with the finished side facing up. Insert the faucet through the hole. Thread the screws into the ring until they extend a quarter inch out of the opposite side. Slide the rubber, then the metal washer, onto the shank. Thread the ring up the shank until it is against the underside of the faucet deck. Position the screws to the front and back. Tighten the screws to secure. Connect and tighten the supply hoses. Make sure the faucet handle is in the off position. Turn on the water supplies and check all connections for leaks. Position a bucket under the end of the copper tube. Run the hot water and then the cold water for one minute each to flush any debris from the supply lines. Turn off the water supplies. Clear any items from the cabinet that may interfere with spray hose operation. Connect the spray hose by pressing the connection together until it clicks. Position the weight 2 to 3 inches up from the loop in the spray hose and tighten securely. Pull out the spray head and ensure there is no interference with spray hose operation. Turn on the water supplies and check all connections below the deck for leaks. Turn on the faucet and check all connections above the deck for leaks. Slide the gasket on the soap dispenser shaft. Thread the nut onto the shaft and tighten until secure. Thread the soap bottle into the shaft. Fill the soap bottle with soap. Install the flat end of the tube to the pump. Insert the pump into the soap dispenser.